toast to their career. The perfect combination, boy. Hip hop legends in the South. This is sports fans' only home for the hottest sports show around. These guys are on fire. You're now listening to KJ and Sean Mack. Thanks for tuning in, sports fans only. See Anthony back with another video. On deck, we have Tank Davis versus Mario Barrios. Have this showdown coming at 140 on June 26. This is going to be a real good fight. Um, both fighters about the same age, Tank Davis being 25, along with Barrios being 26 years old. Barrios does have a huge height advantage. He's coming in at 5'10". We all know Hank, Tank Davis is 5'5 five, five and a half. Also with the um, the reach, huge reach advantage for Barrios also. This is going to be a really good fight. Tank Davis is moving up in weight, up to junior um, welterweight with fighting um, Barrios. And Barrios, I would say, is he's stepping up in competition. Tank Davis will probably be the biggest name on his resume up to this point if he, um, if he can actually get a victory versus him. So keys to victory in this fight. I think Tank, Tank Davis is going to have to... He's going to have to play it rough, try to get on the inside. On the inside, I feel like it's his best chance to smother some of Barrios' punches and actually unload some of his devastating punches. Also, I think he needs to stay busy. He can't let Barrios um, keep him on the outside and try to pick him apart and take him down, take his um, time and time him and um, find a comfortable range. So I think he'd do best to just stay busy and get on the inside, like I said. Also, I think he needs to cut off the ring if he can... Cut off the ring, that'll, that will apply mental pressure to Barrios. It'll make him feel um, under the gun and probably want to swing a lot more punches, which will give Tank a little bit more time to uh, maybe get some counters off and get some offense that way. And also, Tank, a big thing will be his body attack. We all know he's relentless to the body, has a great uppercut, but at some point he needs to try to start to chop um, Barrios down that later in the fight could possibly open up the uppercut for Barrios, I mean, to Barrios. So keys to victory for Mario, <clears throat> I would say a consistent jab. He's going to have to jab and probably have a pretty decent output of jabs to keep Deontay, keep um, Tank Davis honest, keep him guessing, and to try to throw off his rhythm and timing a little bit. So, and another thing I'd be, um, he's going to have to stay off the ropes. When he's on the ropes, he has a chance that his punches will be smothered. Tank Davis will probably be able to unload a lot of his offense that way. So staying off the ropes is definitely a key to victory. And also, his body attack. Mario's going to have to keep up his body attack and press. He does great. He has a great left hook, and he has a good right uppercut to the body. Also, that can possibly take some of the win out of Tank Davis. So I think that would be a good key to victory for him. And also, last but not least, at 5'10", he's going to have to use his height advantage. He's going to have to be the bigger man, stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe and kind of press forward a little bit on the front foot to make Tank Davis think. Don't come down to his height. Stick with, with the, um, the physical ability that you have. Try to keep him at range. You know, one, two, maybe you can slip that right in, and then you have time to actually think a little bit. The closer Tank is, the, the more you're going to be sped up. So keeping him at a good range and using your height and staying tall, fighting big behind that jab. So this is a fight I feel like um, Styles make fights. This fight right here, I'm not saying Tank bit off more than he can chew, but I would say he's definitely moving up to fight somebody who's game. Mario's going to um, he's gonna bring it. He's not going to lay down, and he's a really hard puncher. So you have two good punchers in this fight. I think um, the reason that Tank took this fight because he's chasing the belt. With a victory, he will be three-time champion in three different divisions, which is astonishing. That's an awesome feat if he could actually get this done. This is coming from um, Lorenzo Spence. He said he did spar both. He says he believed that Tank Davis does have the harder punch. I'm not sure if I agree with that, but Tank Davis is a handful, has a hard punch, and I hope he does well in this fight. But I will say Barrios has a good punch also, very, very powerful. And um, he's definitely not going to back down. He's going to be on the front foot trying to come forward to, I think, trying to try to press and try to knock out 
Tank Davis. In this fight, I wouldn't be surprised if there were knockdowns or multiple knockdowns. We just have to see how they both going to respond because if Barrios can get knocked down and get up, I think Tank has a problem. It's going to be, um, on the other side, going to have to see if Tank get knocked down and he can actually get up. How is he going to respond under adversity? No, he's going to be a little bit embarrassed. He's going to be a little bit maybe over ambitious to get in there and get his get back, get his leg back on Barrio. So I would say another thing is um, I'm trying to size up in this fight is um, how is Tank's power going to travel up to 140? A lot of people he sparred say he definitely has the, the power of a 140, 147, and possibly hits real hard like at 154. So that's going to be some things we'll see early in the fight. We're going to see when... Barrios actually feels the power where he have to adjust his plan and go to plan B, not being able to, to deal with Tank's Tank's um, power. So um, another intriguing thing about this fight, I think um, Tank Davis is the head hunter. Mario Barrios doesn't have the best head movement. So that's another thing he's going to have to do. But in this fight, I'm thinking, right now I'm calling it 50-50. I don't think it's a good matchup for Tank Davis. I understand why he took it. This will be a fight that get him that three-time world champion, which he wants. But this is going to be a real tough fight. And if he wins, it'll definitely be a statement. And on the flip side, if Mario Barrio wins, it's definitely great for him. And bigger and better things that he would be able to chase down having Tank Davis on his record. So I'm going to leave it right there. Um, I'll be back before June 26th with this fight And we'll keep it right there If you like the content, hit the like button Share, subscribe, sports fans only Peace